look over at Utah and say it ain't snow. Yeah, it's already that time of year, my friends, but we're starting to see the white stuff falling from some of those higher elevations. It's part of the same system, my friends, that is going to be giving some of you some of that severe weather, especially for those of you across the south and west. Let's bring in my colleague, Fox Weather Meteorologist Kiana Lewis. He joins us right now. So, Kiana, I know that several states are going to be on alert for today, including the Lone Star State. And that's exactly right, Jason. We're starting off the week, yet rampant across parts of the southwest, moving into the southern plains once again today. There is going to be a severe weather threat likely to possible in areas like Albuquerque, Carlsbad, back towards Amarillo and Lubbock. And as we watch, there's a big dip in the jet stream. That trough there is going to help trigger a lot of these storms heading into later today. And as we go through each and every day this week, it's going to help provide, whether it be some showers or storms, across the country off towards the east. Let's start you off here across the four corner states where we are looking at both rain and that opportunity for more snow over areas like Salt Lake City. This front continues to transition off towards the east, and as it is, as it does so, this area shaded in the red is where we have the better potential of seeing some severe weather. What we're talking about in terms of severe weather is large hail, damaging winds. We're also watching for the threat of maybe some brief tornadoes along a dry line that sets up shop later today and into tomorrow. As we look at areas like Santa Fe, we do have, again, that wind shear that's going to be in place right along that southern tier of the front and the dry line. And we'll see these storms run through the area as we head through the afternoon and evening, more scattered in nature. Going through tonight, we'll see a bit of a break. And as we head into early tomorrow, a lot of the energy continues to push off towards the east. So, Jason, we're watching areas from really Iowa on south back down towards Texas. We'll watch the center portion of this front from Omaha through Amarillo for the bigger threats of damaging winds, upwards of 50 to 60 miles per hour, as well as along that dry line that I talked about that potential for brief tornadoes. Heading into Wednesday, we look at more of a rain threat a little farther to the east. So Dallas, Oklahoma City will watch you for the threat of some possibility for flooding. Heading over towards, say, Kansas City and St. Louis, not yet seeing the rain during Wednesday, but could possibly see that into Thursday. We'll watch for this threat to be likely out extending from Iowa on south. And here's that flash flood threat that I talked about. It's really expansive, northern Texas, Oklahoma, back towards Arkansas to see the likely risk into early Thursday morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.